morning everyone and welcome back to my channel um, apologies for the state of my hands I, these are some of these are hot off the press um, I'm going to try and join in with Dee's Febu jelly Febu jelly um, Betsy Doodle that is so if you haven't heard of it and you're interested I'm going to leave a link to Betsy Doodle's channel in my description box um, but Basically, she's doing some easy things you can do on your jelly plate um, in February. Um, I decided, I thought that for my album that I'm doing, for my um, for all the lovely twinches that are coming in, I thought I would put them on background papers and I'm going to use jelly prints to do that. Um, now, I've already done a few, but they're quite dark and then it takes away and detracts from the lovely beauty of the twinches. So I thought I'd try and stick to pastelish colours um, but you know me I'm not I'm not good with pastel um, so I've used some of these for the projects already I made lots of these yesterday um, and they're double sided look these ones um, but I've, I've used them for things so um, this is all I've got left of the the pinky ones um, so that was the circles this was using didn't use a fan thing because I didn't have access to anything I'm looking for it now. This was just a piece of corrugated cardboard, which I still have on my desk. And that's all I used for that. Apart from the bits, I don't know whether or not you can see these bits here. And I just used um, a store card and went that way and then that way. Oh, and this bit here was a milk bottle lid on its side and I just rolled it across. So that's what that's on that side. And on here, um, I used the end of a paintbrush to do some swirly bits on that one. So some of these are double sided. This was an egg box that I'd got, just a, a plastic egg box. And I just plonk plonked it down and that's what gave these um, marks here. And the little marks are the, I haven't got anything to show you, but you know when you get a new paintbrush, it has a plastic protector on it. It was one of those, the plastic protector stuck in there. Same goes for that one. It turned out better on this side, I think. Um, and that was just a mop-up sheet, I think. But still pretty in its own right. So today, um, I did another. I did some more. I, this is the technique from yesterday, still using circles. Um, that's a Pringles lid. Um, the lid from, I don't know, something could have been like... Um, shampoo or some I don't know um, but another lid and then that's the lid to my little spray water bottle and then these little dotty bits here I just used the end of a paintbrush and and popped it in every now and again I wiped it to um, you know so that it picked up the paint each time these are all single sided because I'm going to stick them down so I'm not I don't need the backs and I haven't done around the edges because I only need um, a small amount well, not a small amount, but I don't need the whole sheet. Um, this one was used a paper fan and the bottle tops. So I hope these are, I hope you can see these. But uh, oh, this one. Uh, I'll, I'll come back to that one. That's another one there. Look, just done with the fan. Um, made from. Um, junk mail so quite like that one this is just picking up what was left afterwards but I thought that was also quite nice very pale but with the odd bit of green in it this one right so for this I took a cardboard tube and cut it down and was using that but I felt that it was a bit of a big thing for the size that I was working on it looks pretty and quite subtle so then I made myself another one with just um, a piece of paper that I've made a fringe in and then rolled up and I'll just use that to make um, marks like this so let's hold that up so you can see that but on the back of this was just a scrap piece of paper on my desk and on it, I'd written out some measurements um, for an envelope. So 
I'd, I'd put it on my jelly plate to draw a line so I cut to roughly the same place each time and when I did that it left the um, me the me envelope measurements so they're on the print there I don't know if you can see that but also there's they seem to be indelibly stuck on my jelly plate now so I shouldn't perhaps have done that so yeah so that was just taking paint off using this homemade I don't know what you want to call it flowery thing but then I thought because what I was doing was taking it off putting it on a piece of paper next to me and it was making flowers and I thought oh what if I deliberately got some paint and painted them on there so I just did a plain peachy colored black background on the plate then got this um, pinky color and was just dipping them on like that and then a few of the lighter ones and uh, yeah pulled a really good print I'm really happy with that but again it might be a bit busy for what I need it for but I, I love it anyway uh, and then this one was just taking up what was left so after I'd done that there was still obviously some of this pink so I put a layer of blue over the top and pulled that off and there was still some on there so I put some white on top of that and pulled off that one which I actually quite like because I think even though it's very very pale I think that'd be useful as a background and there was still something on there and I was and my um, envelope measurements were still there so I put some more white paint on and uh, and pulled this off and look you can see all the measurements on there from, from my bit of work that I was on so um, and I've cleaned my plate now with um, hand gel and all sorts and it it's uh, it's still there so that's going to be popping up every now and again so yeah that was that was my my first couple of days of February jelly um joining in with D so let's put some of the nicer ones on top um she says not being able to find them I like that one I like that one a lot that nice green one just because it's green I think and that one's pretty as well greeny yellow so yeah, had lots of fun and um, I'm not promising to come on every day and do it, but I'll try and catch up every now and again with what's going on because it's so much fun. Right, I'm off to play with something else. So thank you for watching. Um, follow Dee's um, series if you're interested in jelly printing. Um, and don't forget there's also the jelly collaboration which is this thursday and the following thursday as well at 9 p.m uk time um and yes i will leave you with that have a good day everyone and uh, see you soon bye for now